Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel, this is your boy Copy Shots and in today's video we're going to look at how we can transform this very flat profile shot all the way into this. All in Premiere Pro of course, with just some few basic tools so you don't have to worry about so many things. It's going to be as simple as it gets. Let's get right into it. Alright, so welcome to an empty project space in Premiere Pro. So the first thing I'm going to do, of course, because we don't have any media in here, we are going to have to import media to start. So I'm going to go into where I can locate my file that I'm going to use for this project, this tutorial. Okay, so once it's in here, I'm going to create a new sequence. All right, so because I shot this um, footage in 4k i'm gonna go into re all right re for the preset then uh i'm gonna select the 2880p and that's um for 4k okay 30 frames per second and uh yeah my sequence is created for me just like that so what i'm gonna go into first of all is to drag my shots with just the footage i don't need audio all right because uh the ambience is not what I'm going to look for. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag just the video by dragging as I click on this icon and pull it all the way onto the deck of the sequence. So um, it's asking me if I want to change sequence settings or keep existing settings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep existing settings and uh, yeah. You notice that my footage is still larger in size as compared to what I see over here in the source. And that's because the resolution is a little bit bigger from the footage as it is in this process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to downscale to um, scale to frame size. It still has two black bars up and above and that's because uh, the frame size is a little bit wider now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the scale and make it fit in there. If that's what you want actually that's what I want so that's what I'm gonna do all right so once we have our shot in the project or on the timeline and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a spot in the shot where I think I like that's going to make it appealing in the end for the color grade so I decide to select this spot in the shot and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create an adjustment layer over here then I'm going to drag it right on top onto the second deck of the video. All right. So I'm going to duplicate the adjustment layers and make them three. The third one, I'm not actually going to use it because uh, um, I may be able to do what I'm going to do basically on this two adjustment layers, but I'm going to keep the last one on top for safety sake, just in case I want to quickly do something over there. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the color correction still again at the spot where i want it i'm gonna work on the color correction and ensure that the colors are perfect because you notice it's very flat and so we need to bring in some life into the colors in there so once my adjustment layer is selected i'm gonna go over up there to the color tab and it's going to automatically open lumetri color for me i have a video already on my youtube channel where i color graded a shot and it detailed another way that you can find the lumetri color so i'm gonna link it up there so you see it all right so let's get back into it what i'm gonna do first of all is to go into color correction all right and that's where i'm gonna push my contrast and uh, that's about the highlights and the shadows. I will target the whites and the blacks as well. I'll work on the tint and also the temperature if the need be. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push in a lot of highlights, okay, to brighten up the shot. Then I'm gonna equally darken the shot with the shadows to the left, all right? And I'm gonna push the whites also out and the blacks here all right and basically what i'm doing is i am simply um bringing in some contrast in the shots all right so equally i can also push the contrast and make the shot even much more conspicuous so the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the creative still with a color correction i'm gonna push the vibrance a little bit to the right to give me some life also in the greens and overall in anything the reason why you see much more of the greens is because black magic pocket cinema 4k is what i shot with and it has a 
bit of a green tint to it. And how we're going to solve it is by going up there to the basic correction to, you know, color correct it with the tint. All right. So back to where we were, we are going to, you know, push a little bit much more vibrance into the shirt to ensure, you know, some bit of more vibrancy in there. So at this point, I think I'm okay with the vibrance. I'm going to go back to the basic correction and correct the tint. Okay. So because we have so much greens already in the shot, going to the left isn't a good idea because it takes it out of the normal, you know, scene as seen by the eye. <laughs> okay. So we are going to inversely move to the right. Okay. And you notice that the skin tones are corrected now. So equally, I'm going to create a temperature and send it to the blues a little bit, you know, yeah, having the pool also in mind. Okay. At this point, I think I'm okay with the color correction. What I'm going to do next is to target the curves and here's where it gets much more interesting. But over here, you're not going to do it on the same adjustment layer. Remember to always do a second move or a second action or any other action on a different adjustment layer so that you can you know separate them and you know you know group them into what the effects are next on the list of the moves we are going to target the hue versus saturation then we move on to the hue versus hue you can do one before the other whichever way you want to go with it but with this shot i feel like i'm going to start with the hue versus saturation so what i'm going to do first of all is to select this eyedropper too that's the icon over here okay where the cursor eyes so i'm going to left click it and i'm going to left click on an area or in an area of the shot where i want to you know increase its vibrancy all right so immediately i select that area over here on the levels is going to pick those characters or those um, properties in the shot where i selected in its color over here for me so what i'm going to do is the pegs i'm going to select the center and i'm going to push it upwards so what you see right now is that the greens are uplifted and they are much more saturated than they were before all right so i'm gonna push it upwards a little bit more and i think at this point it's fine equally i'm going to select the eyedropper tool again click on it and click in an area of the pool and uh, equally my pegs are set for me in the blue so i'm going to also increase the vibrance of the pool a little bit more like that okay so down here in the hue versus hue what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color properties of the selected area where i'm going to select okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click again on the eyedropper tool click in the area i want to change its properties and the pegs are set for me already so i'm gonna push it a little bit this way not too much because uh we're gonna have color banding in there and that's not what we want so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to you know be subtle with the move not too much and i think this spot is just right okay and uh, equally i'm going to also select the pool area and the pegs are set for me again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push it all the way up a little bit and introduce some teal into the shot okay so what we're going to do next is that we're going to select the skin area and introduce some vibrancy equally to that so still on this same levels because the skin tones are in an area of the blues and of the you know the greens in there we can still use the same lumetri color panel to do this so uh, with my eyedropper selected i'm gonna click in a skin area like that and uh, you notice that these specs are set for me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna push the red area upwards and what we see is some vibrance in the skin all right okay that's another peg set over here and I can equally push it upwards. So what you notice in the skin area and everywhere in the shot that's brown is that there's some vibrancy introduced into it. But you have to be a little bit more subtle than what you are getting right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. So at this point, I think I'm okay. Um, let's go to the hue also equally. We're going to select the skin area and these specs are set for us. So if you push it too far, you notice that the skin is turning into purple which isn't the normal way we see things unless you are mystique <laughs> mystique in x-men all right uh, i digress so let's lower it a little bit more and what you notice is that the skin is turning green this time because we are going too way low so what we're going to do is we're going to be subtle a little bit 
you know, introduce some magenta into the skin and make the skin look natural. All right. So I think uplifting it this way is just fine. A little bit. If it looks too much more magenta to you, you can always lower it. But at this point, I think it's fine. I'm very subtle with my thins. And uh, we can go back to the basic correction. And here, we can push in some tint and make it a little bit green. Just a little bit. Okay. And go back to the creative and increase the vibrance a little bit just like so all right just like so okay so with the curves i think so far i'm okay with what i've done and uh we're gonna move on to the third adjustment layer which i thought i wasn't gonna be using but i feel like i can add some few things to it all right so with the adjustment layer selected what you're gonna do is we are going to work on the shadow tint and the highlight tint, right? So in these areas of the shot where there are a lot of highlights, I want to push in a little bit of uh, magenta to it to, you know, appeal much more to the eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the highlight tint because these are in areas of white. And so the highlight is what I'm going to use to fix that. All right, so I'm going to select the center and I'm pushing it towards the highlight. So you don't see so much because I'm moving a little bit more with subtlety. So um, if you want to see it clearly, I'm going to push all the way and that's the effect that we're going to get. But that's not what we want. So we're going to be much more subtle with what we're doing. And I think at this point, I'm quite satisfied. All right, so scrolling through the shot, I think I'm happy with what we've done so far so what you notice is that we fixed um, let me click these ones off and start from scratch so in summary what we've done is we've color corrected the shot and introduced some little bit of changes into the colors so you can call that color grading yeah but there's much more on the basic level all right so let's go through the layers and see the effect that we get with each of them all right so this is the color correction first of all then we introduced some you know grade by changing the properties in the shot then the last thing is that we worked on the tints and we're able to achieve this and overall i think i'm happy with what i've done so far with the shot and i'm satisfied so equally you can do this also with your footages when you shoot them and you know having similar colors in the shot you can equally follow the steps that i undertook and you can also arrive at something pleasing like what we've done in this tutorial so thank you very much for sitting through to the very end if you learned something please share it so that your friends can also have a piece of the cake and also if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please remember to do that and turn on the post notification button to always be notified of future videos that i'll be uploading onto my youtube channel so until the next video i'm gonna catch you later see ya